when you look back on your life, where, when did you grow the most? When you had a challenge or when you didn't have a challenge? And when you were on the challenge and you didn't know how to get around it or how to get over it or how to get under it, you were forced to grow spiritually. And when everything is just smoothly going along, no challenges, everything is hunky-dory, you're not forced to grow. I'm not saying you're not going to meditate, you're not going to pray. But when that challenge comes up uh, and it forces you to go to another level, you find dimensions of resources and powers and capabilities within your soul that because they weren't called on before, uh, they didn't manifest. They were just latent. People... When they enter into a tough situation, they'll wish they weren't there, or they'll wish that they were someone else, or they wish they hadn't done what they had done to get there. And so wishful thinking doesn't really bring you any insight. Once you say, you know, um, what is it that I can learn from this situation? How can I grow from this situation? What quality has to emerge for me to have peace of mind? Now you've moved out of wishful thinking, and you've asked, a very empowering question and because the universe will answer any question you place out there you now become a candidate for insight but in a general sense a person is stuck and not living the, the life that they feel that they're ordained to live I would begin to just write down first of all the life that they want to live just begin to describe it the law basically says you don't um, d describe what you see you see what you describe and so you begin to describe that life. You don't have to believe it at first, just to describe the kind of life you want to live. And then read it on a regular basis. And then you take that description and you begin to feel what it would feel like if you were living that kind of life. What would it feel like if I actually lived a life in which uh, my finances, that particular structure was, was stabilized in my life and I was prosperous? What would it begin to feel like if I was surrounded by loving associates? What would it begin to feel like if I was very healthy and robust and energetic? And then you take an action. You say, if I really believed this, what action would I need to take to prove to myself that I believe that? Now, the rub is this. The action can be real or symbolic. The mind doesn't know the difference between a real or a symbolic action. So if you begin to take an action like that, it begins to recalibrate your nervous system and it speeds up the day where you begin to see what you're describing. And as we talked about earlier, then you're, you're open and receptive now to hunches, intuition, gut feelings, um, out of the blue kind of thoughts. They're not, of course, they're not coming out of the blue. They're coming from the mind of God. They're called, it's called inspiration. You begin to be inspired from another realm that you, you haven't been inhabiting because you've been focusing your attention on what you don't have. Just though, those are just very basic things. If a person would begin to do that on a regular basis, even waking up in the morning and reading that list and feeling it, going before they go to bed at night, reading it and feeling that, and of course beginning some kind of meditation practice, you do that, you'll begin to notice month after month subtle changes happening in your awareness, subtle changes happening in your habit, the way you think, and of course your life will begin to change ultimately. What I would always like to leave people with is that the, um, the field is wide unto the harvest where they are concerned. That uh, there's infinite possibilities and do not limit themselves by thinking too small. Uh, begin to uh, think larger than they've ever thought before. I go back to the statement, have at least six, be believe at least six impossible things before breakfast and then watch as, as, as that a paradigm keeps expanding and those new thoughts keep rushing in inspiring you to do great things.